Hey, Internet and Melly. I'm Casey, and this is 25 and 52. I'm really impulsive today, and I've been really stressed out in the past week because I've been starting to think about the reality of moving somewhere. So, I think what I'm going to do is uh, dye my hair and fill out some forms and then come back to this. See you when my hair is redder. Oh my god! My hair's a color! So, I've been trying to process through all of this stress that I've been having by at least getting some stuff done. So... I went to the grocery store and saw my therapist and talked to some people about, you know, moving with cats. And I think I have a good idea now about that. So that's something. But um, I did go to the grocery store today, and that experience looked like this. I just show you a video of me making faces at the grocery store? Well, because there is nothing in my brain. Nothing. I have, I don't have any thoughts about anything. That's, I mean, that's false. I always have thoughts about things, but I don't have anything that I feel like I can talk about right now. I don't, I don't know. Other than being stressed out, which I've been before, I don't have any particular stuff going on. Um, I don't know. It's been weird, though, because I'm not, I mean, I'm not doing bad. I just don't have anything to say to an awful lot of people. Um, like, even I had lunch with Ryan yesterday, and I don't think I said anything interesting at all during the time. I'm just, like, void of all interesting thoughts because my brain is all like, well, how am I going to get my cats there? Where am I going to live? And that's how I feel about that. Uninteresting. Uninteresting. I feel uninteresting. Yeah. So here's the thing that I have some thoughts about. So they're making a Gatsby movie, and because I have this theory that I should re-experience books I read in high school as an adult with more context for all of this stuff, um, I'm rereading The Great Gatsby. And I'm also seeing all of this advertising start to come up around the Gatsby movie, and I know I've told you about being a terrible and insufferable snob and in a discussion of the Gatsby movie saying, yeah, but it'll lack the symbolic resonance of the original novel. Um, but I'm really I'm beginning to wonder if uh, anyone gets the point of that book. Because you're not supposed to want to be Gatsby. You're, you're not. That's not how, no. It's uh, the whole thing, and as I'm, I'm listening to it on an audiobook, and as I'm listening to it, I'm like... Wow, the extent to which you're not supposed to want to be these people. And I remember even at, God, what was I, 15? Um, reading that, yeah, I think I was 15. Um, thinking, oh, these people's lives sound like they suck. But it's so interesting because that's what we think it's about, right? That's the American dream. That's what the criticism is of. Having more. And there are all of those studies, and we've talked about this, that say um, that happiness does increase with wealth up to about $70,000 a year, and after that, yeah. But we're all doing this thing. Well, most people are, and sometimes even I'm doing it. Where we think that if we can just get more things, we'll be happier. But that doesn't seem to be true. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to learn from Gatsby, is that you can have all of the stuff in the world and still suck. And have a life that sucks. I'm aiming for a life that doesn't suck. 
and hopefully I'm reading books correctly.